Alex Answer here. It is uh, June 12th, 2017. I want to talk about targeted individuals, what some people call gang stalking. And again, it'll be a video where I'm covering it from an angle that no other individual anywhere on YouTube uh, is covering it. And it's based on my own personal experience. You want to talk about the people that are really being uh, gang stalked by society, right? People that look Middle Eastern in today's day and age. And I would say that is a real targeted group. But I want to talk about targeted white Americans because I've been doing a fair amount of uh, observation uh, of those targeted white Americans on Facebook. That, And I'm not saying all of them. Certainly there's probably a number of you that look at the issues of targeted uh, individual stuff and other maybe conspiracy issues, and you're not demonizing all immigrants. But some people uh, that believe that they are acutely being targeted by microwave weapons also have a fascination with demonizing people from the Middle East as rapists, as pedophiles, and I realize they are being targeted by something. Microwave weapons, that step voice to skull technology, they are the enemy. They are coming to hurt you. And, and actually taking them away from the real threats. You take a look at this channel, you subscribe, and you see what I was talking about 10 years ago, starting around 2007, 2008 with the Leon Lagan interview. We started talking about the invasion of the U.S., not by Muslims, but by China and Russia, and Putin not being a good guy, Right? And Trump wasn't in the picture then. We weren't thrown out dates. Uh, but it was after 2008 that I started to see, in my eyes, the new world order in game. It's not Islamic invasion. Uh, it's a Chinese-Russian response to whatever the U.S. does. You look at Donald Trump and what he's doing right now, it's like a prophecy being fulfilled as he puts beautiful chocolate cake in his face. And people think that he has the upper hand over China Z. This is, this is bullshit. It's just a matter of time before the worldwide coalition uh, makes its move and counter-reacts is something that the U.S. hasn't even done yet, but it's all leading up to that point. How many people that believe that they're being targeted um, are discussing that issue? There might be a minority, and I'd like to uh, hear from those folks and see their videos uh, discussing this. Uh, I'd like to see their videos showing their compassion for millions that literally have been targeted and blown off uh, into smithereens. Whether they be Afghani, from Yemen. Um, I see a number of people also that are pro-Trump that believe they're being targeted. Okay, this also makes sense. They're being targeted. They're being affected. But they also have this callousness and willingness to get behind a candidate that is clearly controlled uh, by the forces of darkness. In the end, folks, there might be some um, electromagnetic weapons, microwave weapons uh, being used. Um, the ringing in the ears, though, however, um, and I've said this before, I think the source of this evil is non-human, and it has a way of reading minds. And I watch the, um, the so-called gang stalking victims closely on YouTube regarding what they're saying, and they are describing... Uh, a very powerful force of evil that has penetrated their human consciousness and triggered a psychosis. The goal of the psychosis, and that's what people don't understand, is to lead someone to homicidal or suicidal behavior. Or actions that are suicidal to where maybe they kill themselves slowly. That could be chain smoking, that could be other unhealthy behaviors. There's also a lot of people that are really into conspiracies that'll keep drinking that soda with the corn syrup. And they'll keep eating that McDonald's. And they'll keep looking at the internet. And they'll stay on Facebook knowing that their brains are being fried on Facebook without even realizing that that Facebook addiction and realizing their psychic abilities, right? They can be hacked into. Humans don't understand their consciousness can be hacked, their minds can be read, their thoughts can be influenced, and it doesn't have to be done by the CIA. It could be done by that which controls the CIA, that which controls the Russian government, that which controls Saudi Arabia, that which controls China. Fortunately, you have a uh, infantile society that's telling me that I'm the conspiracy theorist by saying all these nation governments are working together and the coming conflict will be staged. But um, I've always, long before all this fake Sharia law invasion that was put out by the intelligence agencies hit the internet, um, I was seeing signs uh, and warning signs of, of and, and premonitions within 
that our population would become targeted by forces known and unknown. So they can be a combination of things, uh, one of which uh, is coming from what I call the Archons. Not easily traced by human technology, but penetrating human consciousness. But if you're using uh, physical technologies, uh, internet, um, the electromagnetic frequencies, uh, th th then there's a more direct way to affect our physical brain. So it seems like they're using humans and corporations and governments as hosts to, to do the bidding of the Archons. But in the end, you're still dealing with that same evil force, whether you call them that, or you associate with the devil, or you associate with something else. I've seen people, right, show the extent of their programming as they talk about being a targeted individual, as if they're one to um, be a person of great advice because they're being targeted. Hmm. Kind of like the blind leading the blind there, right? This guy um, went into a rant where he's frothing at the mouth. Yeah, he seems to be one of the top speakers on gang stalking and whatnot. And I'm going to get into a case, another case example after him without using names. But this guy was frothing at the mouth, attacking people that have been trying to help him say, dude, what you're dealing with is something larger. Like the symptoms he's describing, his brain's being scanned. Um, there's other things going on that I don't doubt are going on. Oh, again, we're arguing over, see, these people have been implanted by the very entities abusing them to be angry with and snap at, thus ending friendships and preventing some friendships from ever beginning, to snap at like the victim that they are, at anyone that tries to lead them in the direction of where it's really going. I've told the story before, I'll tell it again. It's really sad, the uh, only person of my own similar genetic makeup, being that my father's from the Middle East, person from that country contacted me in 2013, said he wanted to support my work, said he knew what I was going through and became almost violently, in a verbal sense, aggressive that I buy into his theories that I'm being gang stalked by the government. Instead of just simply being toyed with by other things that would like to um, stop my progress. Uh, but the way that he took offense to the fact that I saw this as something bigger than the CIA and the anger I felt from him, I realized this person was being targeted on a spiritual level and he was sent into my field of my reality uh, to basically degrade me and try to play up more of that. You don't know, but you, you need to believe what I'm telling you to believe. And it, it's also parallel, not to insult old flat earthers, I know one person uh, that is um, that is kind to me, but only one. Every other one, other than her, and she lives in Portland, it's been real nasty. That if you don't buy into the flat earth stuff, you're a you're a globalist. You're a you're one of them. Uh, you're under mind control. Uh, you're an idiot. Uh, and so th there's a tone of meanness and disrespect that comes from these target individuals. And so they think that because they're waking up to the fact they're being targeted by something that they've woken up to the fact of something great. Like, oh, oh my God, I woke up the fact I'm in a Truman Show and there's 50 people following me and I'm going to make YouTube videos about it. I'm not trying to be mean, but they're not even at the first level of talking about psychic protection, protecting your mind from intrusion, getting that stuff out of your mind that's causing the psychosis. And I'm telling you, it's not a real chip. In some cases, it's an etheric one. Some of these people may be targeted because of their bloodline. How many of them are RH negatives? How many of them are targeted because they're super gifted? And they really just have to realize they're being super gifted. Some of them, they need to realize how to channel that in a proper manner and no longer come under attack. Why do you think that I've moved away from the smart meters? What do you think I'm doing here? Alex is crazy. He moved out in fucking 10 by 12, one acre, Southwest Colorado. Yeah, he just fucking, I'm not saying my life's perfect. I'm not saying I'm not lonely. I like to go out with a beer once in a while with someone interesting, but it's not here in my locale. And to protect my mind, body, and spirit, I had to move into, um, or move away from an energy harvesting center. A lot of these people are talking about gang stalking and whatnot. They're in these urban environments. They're on the internet. <laughs> They're on YouTube a lot. And by being on YouTube, you're interacting with energies and frequencies that uh, are not beneficial to you as a human being, which is one of the reasons I started an on-demand channel. Please support my work if you support videos like this. I'm doing a series of free um, videos that I feel compelled to discuss right now in the moment in these unorganized rants, just to get the words out, just to get the idea out. There's something affecting the entire human population 
And they could be using microwave weapons and satellites, but there's a greater evil that's controlling it. Its name is not Soros and Clinton. It's that which controls China, Russia, NATO. Okay, it's not the individual people or puppets that they put in power. It's beyond that which we understand. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a reality. Something is interfacing with our consciousness as humanity has changed the next level. And I care about people. But I think a lot of the people that are out there talking about gang stalking are mentally ill and suffering from psychosis and angry with people like me trying to tell them that there's something larger going on. I'll be back with more thoughts, but one more thing before I let you go. They want us to be in psychosis. They like us to blog about our pain. They like us to blog about the dream penetrations. And we have to focus on the strengths and realize why we're being attacked. There's one woman, I've watched her videos for years, and she obviously has this, what I call the arconic interference going on in her life, where she's being targeted because she's homeless in Washington State. Okay, there are horrible things happening to her, um, but all these people are not receiving checks from the government. It's just like the people saying all the protesters are being paid by Soros. These people fall into a psychosis. They literally think the government's made them an enemy, and there are 100 people in their life earning a paycheck. And the idea of those people being possessed by evil is obviously something that they can't accept. It seems that they can only accept the idea that the government is paying these individual people that are being nasty with them a actual paycheck. It's a psychosis. And if it walks like a duck, it is a duck, man. If people can't recover from a psychosis, right? But they're everywhere, man. They're everywhere, man. Yes, there is evil everywhere. Yes, there are people that can experience the Agent Smith reality. But there's a reason it's happening. We've got to protect ourselves from our light being under attack. We've got to protect ourselves spiritually. You need to learn how to protect yourself and your psyche from intrusion. Because if you can't do that, if you can't hold off a psychosis, they're all in checks, man. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, dude, it's a bad comedy uh, from a VHS tape that just needs to end. These videos are here to help people grow. I'm going to tell it like I see it. There's only one way for me to defend myself from some of the things that I've gone through. And it's done in the spiritual plane. I'll be back with more. I think these videos are needed.